Meet Scott Morrison, or ScoMo, as he's affectionately known. He's a cool guy, check him out. He doesn't even care that his chinos are getting wet. Scott's the latest Australian treasurer tasked with trickling down jobs and growth all over Australia. A few weeks ago, we released our seventh episode, The Undercurrent Guide to Legal Tax Evasion. By the way, thanks to everyone who's shared the video, especially those who've used creative descriptions, like man with strange badger beard explains tax dodging, or my personal favorite, I have no idea what this video is about because it's muted, but from the look of the beard, I imagine two of us from each state must volunteer as tribute. Since the episode was released, ScoMo has announced a series of tax reform measures designed to plug the almost $3 billion black hole of corporate tax evasion here in Australia. Like his fellow treasurers around the world, Scott is trotting out the beloved tax reform unicorn, a beast with mythical powers strong enough to fight multinational tax evasion. ScoMo says he can recover $4.75 billion of unpaid tax over five years. Yet we know from our most recent episode that even a conservative estimate of the tax avoidance by just the top 76 Australian companies amounts to $13.4 billion over five years. So Scott's plan, at best, will be 35% successful. And his plan to achieve that resounding success? By a new operational task force of more than a thousand specialist staff in the ATO to police and prosecute companies, multinationals and high wealth individuals not paying the tax that they should. But like a horse with a horn strapped to its head, only part of this unicorn is real. Of the 1,000 member task force, only 390 will actually be new positions at the Australian Tax Office. The remainder will just be existing staff who are already struggling to cover the workloads of 3,000 staff that have been cut since 2013, and they'll struggle even more with an additional 1,700 that are slated to be cut by 2018. And if you're feeling frustrated by now, quick, run and grab a pillow to scream into as we place this political impotency into the context of the government's signature announcement the corporate tax cut. ScoMo feels that the best way to get corporations to pay more tax is to cut their tax. Over the next 10 years, he plans to lower the corporate tax rate for all businesses to 25%. He later admitted that that would leave a $48 billion black hole in the budget over 10 years. But in reality, that black hole could be way bigger because the modeling behind the government's tax cut assumes that $4 billion per year will be recovered through, wait for it, corporations voluntarily ceasing their aggressive tax avoidance strategies. An assumption labeled bizarre by the chief economist at the Australia Institute, Richard Dennis. By law, publicly listed companies are required to use every tool at their disposal to maximize profits for their shareholders. The idea of voluntary corporate tax reform is a mythical turducken, or a mergriffsquatch. That's a mermaid inside a griffin inside a sasquatch. Name ScoMo. Our governments go out of their way to protect and stimulate the most mythical creature of all, job creators. But we don't think they need help. If you run a successful business, you already have a reward, profit. And if you create jobs, you get a reward for that too. The labor and effort of your workforce who help you generate those profits. If multinationals can't operate without taxpayer funded training wheels, they should dissolve and go work for someone who can. And governments who act hard in public but soft in private might be in for a rude shock at the next election. <laughs>